Hello aspirants, welcome to CSAT with PYQs. This is question asked in CSAT 2020. See, two statements S1 and S2 followed by a question are given. See, this is question and statement type of questions. See, first read question and then see whether question can be answered with statement 1 alone, then whether question can be answered with statement 2 alone or not. See, if Question is, if n is a unique natural number between 10 and 20, then what is n? By n, which unique natural number eh? between 10 and 20. See, natural numbers are what? Natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, so on till infinity. So, n, a unique natural number eh? between 10 and 20. So, natural numbers between 10 and 20 are 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Up question with the n is a unique natural number. Okay, n unique natural number between 10 and 20. Between 10 and 20 means we won't take 10, 20. Between between 10 and 20 means these numbers 11, 12, 13, 14 to 19. So what is the value of n? Jo unique natural number n hai, wo kya hai? Whether it is 11, whether it is 12, with is 13. So, jo unique value hai, wo find out karna hai. So, now let's check with statement 1 alone. Statement 1 alone ka information se find out kar sakta hai ki nahi. So, n is a prime number. So, n is a prime number. So, when statement 1 se hume pata chal raha hai, by n is prime number. So, prime number is 11 is a prime number. 12 is not a prime number. So, 12 we will take 13 is a prime number. 14 is not prime. 15 is not prime. 16 is not prime. 17 is prime number. Then 18 is not prime and 19 is a prime number. So, what is the unique value of n? We cannot say. We cannot say by n ka value it can be 11, it can be 13, it can be 17, it can be 19. So, statement 1 alone is not sufficient to answer the question. Okay. Now, let's check with statement 2 alone. Okay. Statement 2 alone. n leaves a remainder of 1 when divided by 4. So, n ka value is 11, 12. Usse. So, leaves a remainder 1 when divided by 4. See, 11, 11 when divided by 4. So, 4, 2s are 8. So, it is leaving remainder 3. So, 11 is not. Then, 12. See, 12 when divided by 4 leaves remainder 3s are 12. So, leaves remainder 0. So, remainder hume 1 chahiye. So, 12 bhi nahi hai. Then, 13. See, 13 leaves a remainder 1. So, 13 when divided by 4 leaves a remainder 1. So, 3s are 12. So, remainder 1. So, it is 13. Then 14 doesn't leave because 14 leaves a remainder 2. 15 leaves a remainder 3. 16 leaves remainder 0. 17 again leaves a remainder 1. And 18 leaves remainder 2. 19 leaves remainder 3. So, here also we cannot say unique value of n. n can be 13 or n can be 17 considering the information given in the statement 2. So, statement 2 alone cannot answer the question. Right. So, now let's combine statement 1 plus statement 2. Up statement 1 plus statement 2 say we are getting, see statement 1 say we are getting 4 values and statement 2 say we are getting 2 values. And in these 4, 2 are common. So, by using statement 1 and statement 2 also, we are getting 2 values for n. So, n can be 13 and n can be 70. So, by jo unique value, if n is a unique natural number between 10, what is n? So, what is n? We cannot say by it can be 13 or it can be 17. So, we cannot say what is value of n. Okay, agar maan le ye ki number hota, then we can answer it. So, either two possible values of n. So, we cannot say what is n. So, option D, S1 and S2 together are not sufficient to answer the question is a answer. So, D. Right. So, that's it. See, if you want, you can buy the complete CSAT fit course by clicking on the link given in the description.